Hi, it's Sunday and I'm continuing with this little vlog that I'm doing about reading where the crawdads sing. I think when I last posted I was about 24% in. I'm now up to about 58, 59% and um, it's gone quite well. Um, we're watching Kaya grow, we're, we're watching the, the emergence of the woman from the child and we can see her her resilience, her the vulnerability and her loneliness. Um, she trusts no one, she she looks after herself and you, you see this child growing through her teenage years, 14 to 15, um, and growing up sort of 19, 20, 20 um, by 59% she's about 22, so we, we've seen her go through her teenage years totally on her own and it's a, a growing a growing up type of thing. She's not stupid. She, her knowledge of the marshes, of the creatures, you know, she knows more about marsh life and the insect animal life than anybody else living in the city or the town around her. And again, I am struck by the beautiful descriptions of, of the area. Um, the marshy soft air fell silk-like silk -like around her shoulders. The moonlight chose an unexpected path through the pines, laying shadows about in lines. She strolled like a sleepwalker as the moon pulled herself naked from the waters and climbed limb by limb through the oaks. The, the language that she is using to describe the nature that she is describing the marshes like is, is absolutely beautiful. You do feel sorry for Kaya for her overwhelming loneliness. Um, you know, the time, and as we're going along, and she's now sort of getting into, you know, into her 20s, we're catching up on this, this timeline. The murder was, the body was found in 1969, and we are now catching up slowly to, to 1969 as, as Kaya's growing. And she's resigned to being on her own in the marshes. Um, she describes her family as the marsh. That is her family. Not people, not, you know, any, just, just the marsh. And um, it doesn't all, it doesn't compensate for her loneliness, but it, it's a family of sorts. I've an inkling now of where this is going to go, how these two paths are going to to cross with the body and, and Kaya. And I've an inkling of where it's going to go. And if it goes where I think it is, I'm going to be so disappointed because I can, I think I know where it's going and I just hope it doesn't. So we'll have to see. I'll come back to you again um, when I've read a bit more. So yeah, it's Sunday, it's, I've had lunch. Sunday afternoon, I think I'm going to hopefully, after I've done a few little bits and pieces, read a bit more and then I'm going to make um, sort of like a, a corn mincy thing for my tea. So, see you later. Bye. I'm back again. It's Tuesday. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I got back from the market where I bought some more flowers and a bit of fruit and veg. So I thought I'd take this time to update you on where I am with um, where the crawdads sing. I'm up to about 73% now. I'm hoping that I can get this finished in the next um, day or so. We're, I'm not giving any spoilers away because uh, it does say in the blurb that Kaya is the suspect for this murder. So at some point we know that the, if the climax is going to be, is she, did she do it did, or didn't she? And did she, you know, what happens to her? So we're, yeah, we're, we're oh, Get my lag, got my words all wrong then. So we're at that point now, and what you find is that you do feel dreadfully sorry for her for this situation that she's in because everybody seems to have deserted her. That the townspeople are against her. You don't know whether to believe what they're saying. You you're not sure because Things that have happened in the story so far, there is an element of doubt in your mind. So you're not quite sure what 
will happen? Will she, will they discover that she did it or won't she? Um, I said earlier on that I thought I knew where this was going to go. I'm now, no, I'm not quite sure now. I think it still will go the way that I'm thinking, but there is a little bit of an element of doubt. She, there is a the, there's one thing in, about it that I don't like. We see, we see in Kaya grow. We've seen this woman who is so desperately lonely. She's now at an age where she wants love, where she, she wants intimacy. Um, fine, that's fine. I've got no problem with that at all. What I feel, what I have got a problem with is every now and again, she will. It reminds her of a poem and she'll stand there and recite a poem. How many people do that in real life? How many times have you stood and been on a walk and think, oh, that reminds me of a poem and you recite a poem? That bit, it, it just, I don't know. I don't, I, that, that, this is a personal thing. I, I, this, that, that's jarring with me a little bit. The rest of it, yeah, I'm, I'm on board with. And I have a feeling that as I get to the last 20%, my heart is going to be broken and I might come back on here when I finished it, a snivelling wreck. Hopefully not, but we will see. Take care. Bye. Hi, it's Thursday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know where the days have gone. And it's a very different day to what it was yesterday. It, yesterday was beautiful sunshine, a lovely spring day. And today it's been done nothing but rain. I finished Crawdads, where the Crawdads sing, and you know, it's left me disappointed. The beginning of the book, as as I said, it was, oh excuse me, so poetic, and the language was just beautiful. And we had descriptions of the marsh. We had descriptions of Kaya growing up, but. We get into sort of the murder mystery towards the end, you know, the did she, didn't she? And it seems to change style. It, it ceases to be this, well, in, this is my opinion only, it ceases to be this poetic, descript sorry, descriptive, emotive um, telling of Kaya's story. And it, it also becomes a sort of courtroom drama. And I think it lost something. I, I really do. And I was expecting to be blown away by the ending. I was expecting, as some people have said, to be in absolute floods of tears. But I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I, I was left feeling disappointed. That's the, that's the only word. Um, the ending, it did come out as I expected. Um, I thought it would leave me heartbroken, but it didn't. And I think the last couple of chapters were almost rushed. It, as it, it needed more. I, I felt that the last chapter, the last, it just yeah, you, know, you saw it. It was gone. But yeah, you know, that's my opinion. I've I've looked at book reviews that other people have done of this, and it seems to have divided opinion. It's got loads and loads and loads and loads of five stars, but it's also got lots of ones and two stars. So it's they are people either loved it or hated it. I didn't hate it because that first part was wonderful. It was the the second part that I felt didn't didn't sell me. It it didn't touch me. And I I've given it a four star um purely because I love the beginning of it too uh, so much. If it hadn't have been for the beginning, then you know maybe I'd have been heading towards the one and two stars as well. But 
the poetic language at the beginning, the atmosphere, the emotions, that kept it as a four star. So that was my review of um, Where the Crawdads Sing. And I think, to be honest, I've actually enjoyed doing a vlog this way and taking you with me on this journey. So if you'd like me to do some more in the future, pop it in the comments, let me know, and um, we can read another book together. So um, that's the end of this book. That's the end of my review for today. And um, I'll catch you another time. So happy reading and take care.